I look like. But all right, say hi to YouTube because this will be on YouTube later. And uh, our friend Glam is all the way caught up with Kubera. I have more people to speak with. We can pick his brain on so many things. But before I even do anything, I want to give you the chance to either double down, change, or like just whatever, double down or change your opinions on anything you you said was a, a criticism earlier. If 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 you remember what you said um in the video. Uh, power scaling criticisms are still the same, or power system. Uh, I can help you with that, Loki. Yeah, power, I've, power, I've been doing, but not scaling. So, system, system I know, I know, I know. Yeah, still the I've same. Been... Uh, Kubera Lee's uh, meetup still the same. I will take back not liking the off-screen of Maruna and Ran for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> that's that's the only thing I got. I'm like eeny, meeny, rap in the beginning, smoke a little pack, but a pack never timid, church, but I'm seeing it, curse when I'm winning, she need a new back, when it's back, I'm gonna bend it, slap up some guinea, ask me to hint it, watch a nigga black, so react, I'm gonna quit it, swerve in the Benzie, perfume is Fendi, bob and move fast, real fast like I'm Ricky, this is from pretty, came from the dirt, showing up a nigga can't handle the work, ooh, y'all, swing with it first, young white girl like a rapper. Uh, I can say, uh, Wait, what you wait, what was the second one you just said? I just don't know. The Lee's, it... Lee's and Kubera meetup. I still have issues with. Oh wait, do you not have any more issues with uh Marona and Rand's thing being a flashback? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I guess the question uh, I want to ask sorry, 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 one second real quick. I, I, I actually do want to read a comment about the power system and we'll get into it for a second. Just give me your give me your thoughts on Fiendish Magic and when when that was introduced and whatnot. Did you did you did that add anything or detract anything? Did it make things a little more murky for you? What did Fiendish Magic um do when you when you were introduced to it? Um I don't think I really got enough out of it to have a really solid opinion. Um, okay. Because it's not like the same problems I have with transcendentals, or transcendentals are used all the time. But there's like no substance behind how they work, what they really do, how you acquire them, other than like attributes and vigor. Hey, I'm gonna read this comment. I'm gonna read this comment for you. This is from, this is from the video that the video that we had, right? Right. So Corey said, "I kind of disagree with the, with the with the with the points on the spell system. It's pretty consistent in universe. The thing is that the flexibility and power of spells depends on the calculation and on the divine affinity slash vigor of the magician using it. Most spells have a general description of what they do, but the actual effect varies based on those factors. That's why we can have Hati Maru being used by Asha to both decapitate someone and cut her hair at different points. Mm. She calculated differently, but the but the basic effect of the spell was the same. I actually agree with that. I'm not yeah, necessarily that, dis 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 disagreeing that maybe your issues are your issues, but I just I agree with that um that explanation though. I mean, I never made the claim that the system was inconsistent. Mm -hmm. First of all, oh, okay, I made okay. the claim that it is poorly executed within the confines of the story because the abilities within are nebulous or restrictive depending on which attribute you're using. Um, I. And I, I don't you. think saying calculate the calculations make it different. One, I don't actually think that's true. It is. Based on what's happening. I actually, I don't, I, people can say it's true. I don't think it's shown to be true based on what the characters are doing. Because one, you don't know what calculations they're doing in their head because you never get to see it. That's and true. Second, I can't and second, and, and you have to then just assume that that's what they're doing. And I'm not going to give any author that sort of benefit of the doubt in a story where you're supposed to be telling me in a visual medium. This is a novel. You might get my attention in that regard. But other than that, you're not going to get it. The reason why I would disagree with you is because, one, his point of the hair thing is, like, one of the main reasons of why Asha always has a short hair, where old team Marut, uh, she literally does this, of, like, to prove if she's going to accidentally kill herself or not. Yeah, or I know. Or, like, the, 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 the length with and even power of it changes based off of her calculations and topology in the same way even uh they say it with mira mira's control of bahati value so great that uh it extends of the control of just using wind as like step stones or like hovering places but she uses it as an actual cleaning me uh, mechanic when she's in her temple when she's either uh trimming hedges or pushing away debris yeah miles that doesn't counteract anything i said I can use it in the same way in terms of hockey. I don't know that's the case unless you tell me. There's no visual indication that that's the case until after the spell is done. And that's when you're saying Hoti Marut, 
shoot one beam versus another character, say Hoti Maru, and it shoots 13 beams. It's like, what's the difference? That's visual that can indicate why this is happening. There is none. You don't think there's a couple of context clues in oh. terms of like maybe like like we know Ash is a quite quite brilliant just in generally speaking and she has no I th- I don't because so, I'm I'm not saying yeah yeah because I understand no, I'm, I'm like, just picking your brand. I'm not level. saying I'm not I'm not yeah. agreeing or disagreeing with you I'm just playing devil's advocate yeah. I'm just doing my yeah job. I guess I'm, I'm like, confused on what's the visual indicator you want I guess that's what I, I guess I'm, I'm confused I would, would you want, I would would say you want say to calculate I, no uh, no not even that I wouldn't mm-hmm. even need numbers in the head because mm-hmm. what I had given this uh, hypothetical example where if a character said Hoti Maru. And they're okay. say there it was dependent on hands and like way fingers are placed in the air or on a body part. Okay. If she had flat palm in the air and Hoti Maru and just shot a beam, and this, but if she wanted to do a number of beams, palm flat out, but she splayed her hands out, and that's what changed the effect of the spell. That's an easy visual indicator that you can use. Having just math in their head that you just have to assume that they're doing is not that. I mean, that's fair, to me. that's, that's fair to me. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. In the same way as like when you're saying, um, cause that's because Marut's very restrictive. It's beam and nothing else. When I compare that to say Brahma, it seems like you can make literally anything you want, but mostly well, it's like a barrier from what I've been seeing so far. Well, yeah. I mean, the way I guess- Varuna only applications so far have been water blast or directing the flow of water in a boat. <clears throat> yeah, so so the way I take it, right, it, it's it's one of those weird things where, uh, well, I think Marut and Ashvin are so single-mindedly different than most, and like they're, why they're super restrictive is because their magic is from a fourth Zen god, and that's why I also think Brahma's the most uh, fluid is because it's coming specifically from a creation god. That's why like, I would agree t- with that. If fifth Zen's abilities weren't also restrictive, like Indra's and Vayu's. So I'll, 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 I, can, I, can, I think I, I think I can explain some of those. So the spell, the at spell least with, of a god transcendental skills, so that explains some of the difference. Yes, the that's literally what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, transcendentals oh, have like attributes con- connecting to like so, whatever god attribute it is. But I'm saying like, how do you acquire a spe- specific or special transcendental? How uh, mm, psychological ones work? All this other no. kind of stuff that's not really heavily explained or delved into. It's just like, yeah, hey, I have this ability and I do it. That's really it. Oh yeah, well I don't know about the innate. Uh, I guess I assume that's more quarter. And, well, because I think the, there's only a few pure bloods I can use transcendental, and that's fucking Rao, Lee's, and those even, are more even for Sir. Even so for yeah. Sir, it seems very like it either depends on the individual or clan, and even at certain points, it seems very different in terms the, of that as well. Yeah, the way I well I so I guess going first, I'll go back to the magic, and I'll try and see the transcendentals. What from his point, I think is the right thing. I think. Gods and Shurus are a lot more similar than I think we think. Like, they're literally called Nasticus and Asticus. Gods was just a name that was taken over, but they're very similar in their creation. So, to me, San Yoga and San Veya are actually extremely similar to Hotin Bhavati. Well, yeah, I didn't even get to talk about Fiendish Magic, because I was, I was going to say, because now I wanted to do the, the comment, but I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't say, like, Fiendish Magic, I don't think it was delved into enough for me to really have any issues with it, because I don't really have enough yeah. of a baseline to understand. What, well, like, especially for San Vega. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that it's all contractually based, so you have to actually ask the Nastia mm-hmm. every single time. Mm-hmm. But, like, the effects of the spells, again, I don't, I don't, I would assume the effects of the spells are similar to um, uh, Divine Magic. You didn't, where, miss, well, you didn't yes. miss much, but we did do the Abyss 20 um, discussion yeah. already, but. Yeah, I, I wouldn't assume that, like, for instance, uh, San Yoga Kinara has any other ability other than cloaking somebody. Yes, based on, very based similar on to how Hulk divine, season. based on how divine magic works, yes, I would it assume it'd be relatively yeah. restrictive for that. I think um, it's literally just like Hoti Chandra. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, to me that so that's why I think they're they're very much the same thing. It's just where they're deriving the power from, and the difference is just they don't need contracts. So when you're using Hoti in Vivahati, all you're doing is it allows humans to access a specific technique of a god uncontractually, and they all have access to one fraction or one variation of that said god's power well, so that depends on what the, the god is well miles if that's the case then the calculations really don't matter in terms of i changing. would disagree because you would still need that uh to change things because look look, look at varuna right varuna's magic hoti varuna is specifically water like control i guess so like that means you can shape or do whatever 
and the way in which you use that would change. Vahati is just the actual act of freezing. That's why topology is super important so you don't actually, so you can control the range and degree of it because if you don't, you'll just freeze yourself and die like what mm -hmm. Ren used to do. So you have to actually have those things to control the shape and size or you'll just kill yourself. Yeah. So I, to me, like that's why I think the degree of range of different things is because it depends based off the abilities that you're accessing the god because they're not all just uh control of a set element like hoti agni i believe is actually just more flame control and i think the reason why a lot of things are more basic is because they're all crafted to literally fight churros so they take things of more of like giant beams or balls that just strike things down because they're not like crafted for mage to mage combat i think if it was i think you would see different variations even within the small subcategories well that's yeah that's why i said that some of them are restrictive and some of them are nebulous and that's why i don't think the system is wholly executed to the best of what it could be in the story mm -hmm. i think you're we, what i want to do i don't want to do my either intentionally I'm, or unintentionally i'm gonna keep an eye out for it and i'm especially mm -hmm. gonna look for visual i think i could i personally will believe like Going into my own into the recesses of my own mind, which is not which my memory's trash, but I I, mm -hmm. I can honestly remember a couple of visual indicators being distinct enough that I can probably come up with a reason with why they're different. But I'll keep a, I'll keep an extra close um eye on that when I'm um when I'm rereading to see. But like, yeah, because whenever I reread it, not, yeah, yeah, whenever I reread it, I gotta I gotta see it as well. And uh, this isn't to say that no, I'm just, no. magic is a uh, no. I'm just saying just for explanation, just for chat say mainly like. This isn't to say that the magic system is bad, because I don't think it is. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think it's underperforming from what it could be. I agree with that. I actually do agree with that. And I think you are right about the visual indicators. That I from even this reread, no, there there aren't any. There actually and, aren't. And that's why I'm saying, like, if if I have a whole school of magic dedicated to fire based off of a god, and, but I, and I only have access to two different effects with Poti or Bravati, I should be able to do more than just two things. That's all I'm really saying. Okay. I hope that the reason the power system hasn't been explained more is because learning more about the power system will have major plot implications, especially for how it all relates to the power of the name. That's 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 not that's that's possible actually. All things considered, you can summon water with Hati Varuna too. Yeah, because there was a yeah. that, that's why I said before it's it's mm -hmm. literally shooting a water blast out of midair or controlling flow. Is the mm -hmm. only thing that I've seen so far from Varuna. Before the cataclysm, the magic of a lot of gods was more available, including including that of gods with the same attributes and gods of mixed attributes. But now some of those variations are missing since only the magic of the eleven gods are eleven gods are available. Fair point. Usha, Usha's, for example, that's a good point. Well, um, I'll also say that um, I'm well, glad to see Fiendish magic actually included in the story and not just talked about. It was good yeah, I, that's, that's uh, not even a power system yeah. standpoint, but a world building standpoint to actually Just to see, see it, it. Yes. in use. So good. while we're, I guess this is a good segue to talk about how she explores her history by having the actual characters being there. Now that you've gone through the way of time, the other side of the story, Abyss, and all those kind of things. Well, I wish we saw an Abyss and Nata and stuff like that. Where it's, there's so much to talk about because there's so many characters and things I want to get your, your thoughts on. But I want to, I want your thoughts on how you, how um, Curry Gum explores her history in her in in, in, her, in her literature. Like, well, what do you think? I what think, do you think about it? Them, them I actually kind of being a part of it. Yeah, I think dedicating a damn near a hundred chapters at this point to an entire time travel arc is a good way to do that because <laughs> you, you can show points in history. Mm -hmm. Um. And I think it's also good that she's not delving into the mechanics of time travel too heavily. Just go with the classic closed loop, two different pathways, and they just merge into one, and it works fine. You don't have to talk about causation or any of this other kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was very well done, especially in regards to the ancient human point. That mm. was in. I think. On that. That was the best period in terms of the history that I, that that made me care about the other things that were happening rather than just being like, okay, how do they get from point A to point B? That was where I was the most invested when pre uh, the gods betrayal the ancient humans. That whole section was a very long time. I think I think weight of time so far is the best section in the entirety of the arc for the for the time travel stuff. That's fair. Um, Honestly, it was my favorite. I would argue I really I really liked Anata 
but it's it, it's like one. I really, I did too, but I just think I think the character work done and. No, I'm not. Mad. I'm not. Mad and wait, time's too much. Yeah, and I'm and and now that you're here, I can I can tell you like my favorite. Like I rock with the H Human. That's my race, bro. That's what I'm rocking with. I'm not. I don't. Oh. Suros, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, like I'm trying to be an H Human. I rock. I love. I love. I love the concept. I thought it was really dope. Like I was. I was. I was like super into it. I like. I actually. I don't remember what it's called. What's the thing called when you when you when you go into your new life and you actually remember your old life? You did a little ritual. What's it called again? Coming of age, something like that. I can't remember the, the coming of age ceremony. Is what it's called. Was it really that simple? All right, there you go. There you yep. go. Yeah. Um, hold on. Ushas, for example, Maruna said to be the Rakshas close to dying. I want to speak about Aruna in a second. Um, so Maruna's actually the same as Ushas. Ran using magic without calculation makes his magic casting so fast that his magic activates before he says the spell. So Maruna's yeah. and Ushas actually which are sky, light, and fire. Ushas doesn't have a light. She's sky and fire. Just sky and fire. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I thought for sure she'd be light based on being goddess of dawn, but I guess not. <laughs> Which makes she's, sense, though. Why she's, she's very also pretty. Indra likes her. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say. As soon as, as soon as she met Indra and he had that reaction, I was like, oh, so she's Sky then. Interesting. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, but but yeah, but just 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 to just to kind of close this. Yeah. So the way she um explores her history, I really like just because generally speaking, the characters aren't actually divorced from it, and they don't even like they don't know that in the present time. But as they're going through their little timey wimey adventure, they are realizing that they play a part in events in the past that connect to the present, which is I think is really cool. I really like that. Mm-hmm. I've not, I've seen like moments of that happening. Like I said, like I always I use the Harry Potter, the third movie. I think third movie. I think it's the third book. Sorry, um, Prisoner. It is. Yeah, Goblet of Fire. That's when they have the right? time turners. Right, yeah, exactly. yeah. So it's like, time turners. I, I, it's third. Yeah, I kind of like. I kind of like that. So, she likely does have light. I, I guess maybe there's maybe there's thing is not confirmed. I don't. But um, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if mixed gods can have up to three. I think I thought it was only two. I, I could mean, be wrong. Ushas was nearly a fifth Zen, so it might. Be yes. Possible. Um, but then just, I'm, I'm curious if she would she get a new element. Maybe. Because none of the fifth Zens have more than one so i'm curious if she would develop like well, that's, a the, dawn. that's the first time we've ever heard about another god ascending up to fifth cent as well yama oh yeah him but yeah but he's like the goat was, he was created and then he was fifth cent like he wasn't like a natural though that's the thing okay yeah that's true like she seems to be just like a fourth zen like marut or vastman and she's like yeah i'm just gonna level up because i'm goaded yeah, essentially yeah. Mm-hmm. The wiki says the gods can have up to three attributes. Oh, okay, cool. Man. It's probable that most of the naturals are mm-hmm. all triple for theirs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we, what do you what do you think about Indra? I'd actually like yeah. If you want to talk about all the gods, I think the I I I, I thought this... be, we have Usha. So I thought Indra will just be a, a, a fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, but I was just gonna say um, I think the time travel arc has done a massive service for the first kings and the gods especially i told you Um, i told you just wait on it there was uh, yeah there there was definitely a king i want to pick your brain on because he wasn't messing with the clan but it looks like you messing with the king though but we'll get there (laughs) (laughs) go ahead we'll see uh indra this man is a bastard (laughs) yes he has got to go (laughs) Wait, if I, somehow I, permanents get this fucker the hell out of here, please. Yes, we're not fucking with Indra. Um, we don't he needs, fuck with I, him. I'm glad that this aspect is coming into the gods. There needs to be some that are villains. And mm-hmm. as far as I can tell, him and Brahma are prime candidates for that role. Okay. That's what's up. Um, I hate, and I, I, hate I, I, actually, I actually think I prefer Brahma as a villain to Indra so far. Yeah, I, I actually like Brahma too. I don't like Brahma. I hate I, Brahma, but <sighs> Brahma's a great character. Cause Brahma said, "You guys, look at our Asian humans. Like you guys are just defective." <laughs> said yeah. that's no. crazy. Yo, she she's was like, like she was sick. She was sick. She was like, I'm doing it over. I said, "Yo, chill. What's good with you?" She's like a fucking engineer getting angry at a toy that didn't work up to her high standards and throwing them away like a little baby. And I'm here for it. But you built them. You knew what you were getting. Too. I fucking hate Brahma, bro. Blowing her, blowing her <laughs> bubble gum. I'm like, yo, what are you watching her? And, and she, and I, I <laughs> got an indication of this because when me and I talked about pre 161 chapters, there was an indication of it that I didn't expect to happen was her getting involved in the plot and going to the Sur Realm to do something. 
As soon as I saw that, I expected her to be a lot more active. And as soon as I got it, where she literally walked to that defense tower and just fucked it up. I was like, okay, she's about that action. And I kind of respect that. <laughs> no, we don't respect her. We don't, we don't respect Brahma. In these we, need, okay. eat, we need villainy, Miles. Stop hating. <laughs> no, we don't. We got villains. And they're all going to die. Not Clary's, God villains. Clary's number one. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, Clary, man. Damn. No. Naya, after <laughs> reading season one and two, I hate her even more because Teal specifically says she looks exactly like Rao. I don't want to hear anybody ever say, Why didn't, how does how would Clary know she looks like, she's Rao's daughter? Because she looks like him. <laughs> the resemblance Morons. is uncanny. Brown was so intriguing to me. I agree. She's a little intriguing, but I just, I, I don't know. You know she me. I like Asian humans. I was hurt. I can't believe he boldly lied about killing so many humans. He said he's the second most popular god. Vishnu said that their creations can't be perfect in the flashback where Monaka was talking to the primeval gods. Um, Wait. Hold on. I was going to... If All I'm going to do is bombard this man with questions. Do you have something to say? Just say it. Hit, hit me with oh, every okay. god. I'll, hit me with every I'll, god. I'll, hit me with every I'll, god and I'll give I'm you an answer. About, I'm about to go to Yaksha. Oh, okay, oh. yeah. Every every I'll, god in Nastika, and I'll give you an answer. So I, wanted, I wanted to, I wanted to see what you thought about Vayu, and I just wanted like if you have like a I'm list. For Vayu. I need that oh, so to come into the main too. plot. Thank need, you. Because well, well, Miles, any anytime I see a god that's going to be associated with the summoner, my interest immediately heightens because that's potential goaded character relationship. It's already I happened like with Agni. Already happened with Chandra. If I get it with Vayu, especially with Vayu literally being the only one to help in the Sura Realm after the Taraka clan shit. Along with knowing Lee's and Rao and the neutral ball stuff, massive I, potential for Vayu, in my opinion. I like Vayu because he well, from what I from what I see him in uh And he had a lover like Agni did and he gave that yes. shit up because he's goaded. He's yes. suffering. Well I also he's respect like, Agni for not letting Brilith go because Brilith didn't want to let go of him, so it's a little bit different. I think Vayu interesting is a dynamic. Good, I think Vayu is like a good in between. It's not like a one to one in between. But, like, this is the closest I can think in my head. He's, like, a good in-between of Chandra and Agni, I think. Okay. Uh, I don't know I'd say I he's agree. definitely more Agni than Chandra. Yes, but I, can, I would I agree. I can kind of see the mm -hmm. comparison. Indra also had a lover. Listen, I don't care. Yes. Indra is a cat. Indra, <laughs> Indra did not Indra. like her. Yeah, Indra didn't like her. Indra and then unhinged. another thing I like about Vayu... <laughs> When Vi was just helping Maruna out too throughout this entire time, I was like, "Yeah, he's raw, he's real for that." That was cool. And he talked about hey. Oh shit! Let's talk my comments. Let Mira be his summoner, please. For the love of God, I don't want it to be Rush. Wait, wait, Glam, give me just an arbitrary list of your God ranking. I don't have one, and I, I can't really think about it right now. Oh, but we'll yeah. say that we'll say that for another day. But all right, yeah. um, talk to me about Yaksha. The Dog. Oh my! <laughs> have you have you switched over? Have you easily seen easily my second yeah. favorite Nastika? Easily, not even close. He's still behind Genharva because Genharva's got better, more character relationships. But this brother is different. <laughs> what are we talking about? Naya, why glam copying me, bro? <laughs> this man Yaksha is raw. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need Vince. I need backup. <laughs> no, go, 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 go to your little dragons. Go to your little dragons. Hey, no, don't mean, you I mean, fucking I'm, disrespect I'm, the Breacher I'm, Clan. I'm still Breacher Clan. Don't ever. Don't, oh. Yeah, we still Breacher Clan over here. Just because I like Vyaksha doesn't change the favorite, the best clan. All right. Do you, do, you, do you think that he was one of the like sirs that you ever met that are like yo from from like the first time you see him? He comes he's across different. as pretty genuine and nice. And he's like, like, I just think he's a good dude. Like, I would not mind if that guy was the leader of the clan that I was in, you know? Like, I, es I really... Especially I really... when he was all old sensei-like with yeah. Ran. Uh, that sold me. And with Hanuman, too. Yes, I really... Well, That was the funniest thing. When the he was Hanuman like, oh, thinks that we have to become a grandpa. I was like, wait. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> grandpa Hanuman? I was like, wait, grandma. So... He's was a, kind of, my, the mother of my mother. That's my grandmother, right? Mm -hmm. Full-ass... Six yeah, foot five. And, oh, and th think. Uh, I, I'm glad you just commented again. Uh, Yaksha is my fourth favorite character. Yeah, we're, we're gonna talk about Yaksha. You had a you had a comment that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna I'm gonna post it here in a second. But um, yeah, Yaksha had that like immediate gravity where I'm like, oh no, no he's dope. Like I really like mm -hmm. him. I'm, I'm, he's not one of my favorite ten characters. I'm, I'm I'm gonna be honest, but he had that immediate impact. 
that also, like I said, with Saha, it lasts because it's through Ran. Yes. Through Ran, you get you get a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And remember, remember even recently, um, the Tatia, Tatia, yeah, Tat- yeah like, you know, what I'm talking about that moment where he's like, "Yo, thank you for like being kind of like yep. the actress, kind of yeah, like oh, that's so fucking that good. shit was so it. good. It was so good when he I, got I, his heart back yeah. and said, "All right, Ashra, <laughs> you <laughs> said you wanted to <laughs> I was like, "This man is different." And he packed that fucking bitch ass bug. Get him the fuck out of here. Usher. Usher is so funny, bro. bro. <laughs> Who was he talking to? Was it when Manus event talked to him? He said, Get the fuck off. <laughs> Ashra <laughs> just literally is a shit talker. That is all he is. Yeah. He's... And a fight merchant. <laughs> yeah. That was that was awesome though. You see, I not tell you the top one. I actually I like Ashra. Bon is OD too. A- Ashra is like He's good for a small role, in my opinion. Like to have him there for like a physical fight or something. Ravana is mid to me. Yeah. Talk Ravana. Really? I talk. Sh- talk to I'm, me. I, don't, I just I, I'm unmo- like I'm unmoved because I think she's just Ashura light. I like Ravana. Can I, I, I? Can I ask you one question though, real, real quick? Just actually, no, no, no. I'll ask you that later. Actually, it makes sense. Actually, no. Keep going. Okay, that's that's fine though. I don't have any strong opinion. I'm pretty indifferent I, on Ravana right now. That's on. Yeah, that's like I'm I'm unmoved on Ravana. She's just she's just Ashura light to me. This might be just me weird after rereading. I'm like pretty convinced now Kura is Ashra and Ravana's daughter. Uh, or Ravana, they don't have gender, whatever. So I'm, I'm curious. Mainly female. So. Yeah. But uh, because she has resurrection, so that obviously means Ravana has to be like the mother. And Ravana and Ashra have a lot of kids. I'm curious because it seemed like. Maybe I was misreading, but it's because it, it, I think it makes sense, like, she, why she's so strong then. And I don't want to say, like, Maruna respected her, but Maruna wasn't nearly as much of a dick to her as, like, the others. And maybe that's just because they were snakes and gorillas and snakes. But I don't know. I feel like that was maybe an intentional thing there. That was just interesting, but nothing important. Okay. Ashura is likely darkness fire. Her as a one entry. Okay, so, uh, so let's read this theory real quick. I, have a theory about Raltara. I think I, I think what happened to her is the same thing that happened to Yuta in the future of, of possibility. When the throne of the Taraka clan was forced, forceful, forcefully passed on to him, he developed and lost control of his body. Kalavika said that Raltara could be the current king of Tarakas, <clears throat> so it could be that the throne was forcibly passed on to her. That would explain why she lost control, why she looks different, her face looks more human, possibly developed. Uh, probably the the fifth stage and and why she is so much stronger. What do you guys think? Uh, I mean, she's clearly yeah, Taraka, I, she's clearly Tarakified at this point. So mm-hmm. I think I think that's pretty obvious. Personally, um, this was not this, sure. This, how, wait, I think under, I think understand, yes. more, understand, understand that this comment was made for the for the for um Abyss sixteen though. Not oh, necessarily. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, even even though we know now Tarak is here, uh, there was a specific thing of, oh, fuck, I can't remember who it was. Was it Gandhavra? Where, I think it was one of Gandhavra's flashback, and they specifically said Taraka clans are weak. Nothing, what has changed? And they there's and then that's when the new Taraka, like, huge, like, weird-looking Taraka clan member came out and just started murking, like, a bunch of clan members. That looked like just Taraka, pretty- though. So I don't know. I don't know. No, that wasn't. Or no, that like wasn't anyway. Taraka for remember. sure. Yeah. To me, if there was this increase, and it wasn't from Utah for sure at this point, and if Taraka's Raltara. been around this entire time, it could have been Raltara. So mm-hmm. Raltara could have. That was around been. the Cataclysm. So yes, up. it was. It was the Cataclysm, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So it's he's. I think he that gives more. I think he might be right about that. Yeah, I, I, but I think that's largely obvious at this point. Um, yeah, I think we need more of the the how it happened rather than the why at this point, like how she became corrupted like this. But that's that's really it for me. Like, it, Rotara, Rotara. I was gonna. Say, well, we'll get into it later. But no, you can speak on Rotara if you want. Well, I, actually, I wanted to go back to the gods and Nasty go ahead, first. Go ahead. Well, um, we'll finish, finish, but finish that. Who did you? Who did you do, yeah, Yaksha? Yeah, we did mm-hmm. Yaksha, Ashra. Yeah. I'll, I'll say for the gods first because it's much quicker. Because okay, there's go a certain, a certain talk about, talk major Nastika. Talk about Yama. 
Yama, high I already said he had good potential. He has more now. And I need to see it X because there's the Agni relationship. There's dissatisfaction with Indra and the way people are doing things. It feels like I think he's a character where he wants to be like Surya and Veyu and Agni in mentality. But he just doesn't think that he's going to get anywhere with the likes of Indra and Chandra and Varuna in the midst. So he sort of resigned himself I to... I like that he's anti-Indra. I'll, do my, I'll do my Mama. job. Mm -hmm. You're on Team Mama? Listen, um, do you, do you, I don't remember exactly what Curry got said about why he could be... He could possibly... He actually in low-key in the right situation is like the strongest because of that one spell. It's like an instant kill. I can't remember what it was. It was, it was in like the block. The block one where he summoned all the animals? Yeah, or something like that. I'm like, yo, this, I'm like, I knew he was the one, bro. When he summoned all I the souls... I literally... I saw that and I was like, that shit looks raw. And I need to see more of it. Yeah, that's why. Um, Keep going. Surya, I think, could be interesting. It would have been really... I think there's a part of me that's like, damn, I wish Saha was alive so he could have summoned Surya. Yeah. Yes. Because it looked like they had a good relationship. Yeah, and when Surya threw that spirit Indra, no hesitation, I was like, okay, <laughs> I can do something with this. <laughs> Is that, I like seeing that. Asivin... God talk was crazy. Seeing all the gods conversed, I love that. That yeah. was really good. That was, that was Asivin, necessary. Asivin to me seems sort of just like a generic Healy character. Like she might have a smaller role. I'm unsure. Marut also just seems like a meathead for the most part. I don't think Marut's going to have much role in the story. Varuna is the interesting one to me. I'm not sure where she's going to fall in terms of relevancy to the story. And she yeah. also seems more along the lines of what Chandra and Indra feel in terms of personality, but also. I've, there's been certain indications that she can be a little bit caring, so it's uh, she's, she's a super anti Shura. Yeah, like I, I, it's weird where she's gonna place for me, but like, so far, the, like in terms of the guys, like Agni's still undisputed top one for me. But uh, I have a Vera, question. Chandra, and Vi are all fighting for like that second, third place spot for me. I don't, I'm not sure where they are. She said Yama games. would be the strongest if Sura's had a finite lifespan because then the instant kill would work. On, there you go. That's what it was. Like, I know okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, and this, Yama, well, this, Yama could go up too for me. Well, this is a question for both of you, I guess, because I know Vayu said he wanted to come, but I, we do know in the <laughs> one in the one timeline, uh, Rand's uncle did summon Varuna. Yes. So and Rush do you think? Vayu. Yeah. So do you think there's an, a potential? Uh, I don't think Rand's kids are going to die, but that for some reason Varuna could be summoned, or do you think probably not? I think if she is, Rand's going to be the one that summons her because I think he's going to take the Priest of Water job soon so he can be near his kids, personally. Can he take that lifespan loss? <laughs> I mean, he's already doing it. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder and if she, it, But Miles, if she's there, she can give him more water to use to offset it. That, that could is, be tech. Oh, there's there's that, that but, I, but I'm also thinking about literally like the Vigor boys and them like how does yeah. that how does those two that things kind of interact like how, how like when you add that variable you know that'd be interesting you never know how it can all yeah. mix up he could become a fucking Varuna, monster could, Varuna, could, <laughs> Varuna could potentially have something to say and maybe if if Kurigam wants to be cheeky throw in potential love triangle with Ran Rana and Varuna but it's just one sided on Varuna you, if she wants <laughs> how, how do you think Varuna would feel about Ran because he's so much more I mean, Miles, that's, that's what, to like now. now. That's what now you're cooking with gas. This is why it <laughs> might be a good idea. If he's Sura, she may not like her summoner. <laughs> but even like, listen, bitch, you're gonna do what I say. Oh shoot! Mur Murder up here. Ram would box her. Gods already a and he'd win. And me, you are definitely seeing more Maru. You think so? Okay. Chandra said that Ran didn't have the ability to summon. They said the same thing about Lee's. What did yeah, she do? Yeah, it's... It's the about Lee's. What does we'll, we'll that shit mean? I have mean? questions, oh, bro, right? I have that? questions I know. about that Wait, shit. We'll there's so later. much to Hold talk on. about, bro, but I have to pick your brain on everything before we get to mo the most recent stuff. I yeah, have to we're, we're on Na Nastika now. Um, Kinara Tom, doesn't move me. Aravata is really? like wholesome. Yeah, Kinara doesn't move me. I think she's going to have an Oh, I thought you said Garuda didn't move you. No, no, no. Garuda, I need more. Wait. I need, I'm I'm whole, reserving judgment on Garuda. He looks raw, but I need I need more from him. It hasn't been much, but Wait, I thought I, I thought it was you interesting. Like Kinara? No, she doesn't move me. I think she'll be interesting for the plot. I just need to get a better sense of where she's gonna fall. I, in terms I don't of I don't really care for Kanara either. If you didn't know that, I don't. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I'm, she, I'm within I, I like the, the intrigue is in the name fusion. Blah blah, blah yada yada. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm like haters. 
And like, and Lenny potentially being Aravata's soul is a thing, but like, other than that, I don't and really Tilda, Tilda's no, yeah, Panara. I you mean uh, Rand's daughter? This was uh, no. no, no uh, this, is, this is Lutz's um, assistant or whatever. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, where was that in? So Excuse, actually, you, the ch- go ahead, go ahead. You could, you could tell. I was gonna say, go back to the chapter after the one girl gets her name that was with Anon. When you go after she gets a name, you look at the transformation. She looks like Tilda. And then I don't another. I don't even point, know what you're talking about. In that regard. And then another point that you have to remember. Is that Yuta specifically, when he meets Tilda for the first time, he says, I've never been hungry by a half before, but she's making me hungry. And the only, and you know, you remember that. he specifically gets super hungry when there's Rastra. an extremely powerful person that's in a weakened state. Yeah. So I think that even goes more into her. I forget so what chapter it is. Haters, Kanara is great. So you're so Miles, you're character. saying Lenny and Tilda are Arivata? No, are they... Lenny Lenny has Arivata's name, but when because uh, the new Arivata had to get rid of the name Kanara, yeah. right? But so she Tilda has that... Kanara's name. Yes. Now. Okay. She passed it. that on. Does to anybody her. have the chapter? Maybe I could just pull it up if you, if you have the chapter. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember no, the indication. The chat will have to tell me that. Will tell me that. Hey, um, the also, if you guys remember when Verena was summoned in the en- in the enemy timeline, she had the cloak like. Not could bear on this arc and Ran wasn't afraid of Tilda despite being a half. Also, I don't know if you noticed this because I true. didn't I didn't um in the weight of time, damn it. Um Katal, what chapter was it in the weight of time? Where um you you see um Asha with Anata in the background? Cause when I first read it, I didn't pick it up. I didn't actually see it. I didn't I didn't notice it. And they and they I think it's one seventy something, I wanna say. I got, I think it's during the or once I don't know. I have another crazy thing about an ads in early chapter. Three? Was it one seventy three? I don't know. Go ahead. I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for the one thing for Blam now, but mm. I'm gonna get some water real quick, BRB. Okay. No BRB. Wait, Naya. Naya, you know what I need you to do real quick? What's up? Go to chapter twenty two. Just like literally twenty two. Twenty two. Tell me what you say. Like 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 season one twenty two. Like just twenty two in general. Yes. Or, okay. No, I'm sorry. Uh, season two, chapter twenty two. That's what I was seeing. That's what I got. I got I and just tell and just read that beginning and tell me what you see. All right, I'm gonna get to it. Uh, I gotta go back. Like you said, season two, season three still. I keep season three is the longest season so far, right? Yeah. Yes, by far. Love it. Easy. Okay, would you say, I found it. Would you say uh, it got would you say it got better and better, Glam? Yeah. Or at the very least, like the Glam. things that she, the, the things that she cared about paid off. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. You said twenty two. Sorry, Glam. Caution. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell me who you see, Glam. It's uh, season three, the... chapter two hundred thirty two, last panel. Ch- season three, chapter two hundred and thirty two. Yes, last panel. It's all blank. Walking on and on. I still can't see the end. It feels somewhat empty. Oh, shit. Is she and defeated is once again? That's Anata. And, who, and who's talking? And who, who's he, like, talking Arden. to? Like, who's this, even, this re- even after all those trials she had gone through, she doesn't learn anything. Poor thing. Excuse me. I had no idea what you were talking about. I personally have no feeling left or anything like that. But to watch, she is just too pitiful. Oh my goodness! And who wakes up? Please. <laughs> this is insanity. I genuinely think Lisa's is already in Nada. Genuinely. <laughs> and I think that to me, when I reread that, I was like, he's been here this entire time. The chapter that's was him going season over three, what she just went 171. through. Thank you. 171. I was, I was off by two chapters. Oh, Dang it! Okay, I yeah, I it. see. Yeah. I see Tilda there. Well, no. That is... Oh, wait a minute. Because Tilda's a Kanara half, supposedly. All, 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 all you have to do is just pull up the wiki page and look at her season one and se- season two and three form, and you'll see. You'll be, it's, it's uncanny, so wait, you're you know? so, so essentially... Tilda was the girl that used Sen Yoga yes. in Ara and then got turned into a half because of the spear. But doesn't yes. remember probably because some of some memory shit. Yes. Okay. That makes more sense. 
Or she might. We don't know. But the fact I that not, Rand I, I saw the half there, or yeah. I just thought it was the girl who got turned into something. I didn't think it was going to be anything. Yeah. Okay. So then Enon is going to have something to do with that, probably at okay. some point if that gets expanded on. I don't know. If, I don't really have to. If you have the stream pulled up, but if you don't, just look real quick. Oh, and I want to zoom in. Yeah. If even if we get to the foreshadowing with like Claude in the cards, I was like, oh wow. It's very hard to see. To say. But Glam, if you look right where Asha is, in the back, you can see Anata there. Like, just behind us a little bit. You could see it. Well, I have a 30-second ad, so you're not the... Yeah, pay me! <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, like, it's it's crazy, because, like, I do think in some weird way, Asha and, and, and Lee's have gotten some weird portion or whatever of, of um, Anata's abilities and powers. Because even with the way she looked in the third season and stuff, was looking crazy and monstrous when her and Sierra met, the priest, the other priest. He, mm -hmm. she, they done fucked him up with what happened to him. He was, he was, so, he was so, even seeing the special channel, he was so normal. Look what y'all did to him. <laughs> Look what y'all did to my man. But, um, but yeah, super incredible stuff. Season three, chapter, um, yeah, 232. This. Is that the, oh, the Tilda one? Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's well, the one. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. The um, lightning. yeah, I think. I'll, I'll just say this now because we're gonna we're gonna get to an end of because the nasty stuff. Yeah, but I exactly. Think I Asha know. has more. I think Asha has more his physical attributes, and Lee's is gonna have more of the time stuff. That's like, that's actually perfectly saying. kind of exactly what I think at this moment. Actually, all things considered, yeah. I would parse. I don't. I would. I think maybe from a general standpoint, but I still think Lee actually got a lot of his physicality. She's based off the. I think. Yeah, there. I think she will. Mm. But I'm saying like. In term, I think like the Suraform yeah. is going to be something Asha has. Suraform, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would agree with that. Suraification, yeah, yeah, yeah. partial suraification, all, kind of, all all those things and stuff. But all right, like Asha is going to be Asha's yeah. going to be the size of the fucking galaxy at this rate. The as shedding, well, yes. Yep, the shedding. Okay, that's fair. It could be the tie the shedding. But because... yes. hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, no, 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 go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say because didn't Lee's when she when she came in at the time thing because she's coming I'm multiple times. I'm still but... not your ally. Young Maruna. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but can, she, can she you call me an ally? A, <laughs> she smacked away stage four Yuta like easily. So like, mm. Yeah. I don't know. Is she different? She's different now. <laughs> Time leaves moving kind of different. She's that, mo that moment with Yuta when it was disappearing and, and, and it was like, oh, she hugged her from the back and then she, and after she disappeared, she started crying. I, I hurt. I hurt it. Ah! Yeah, yeah facts. By, by the way, that shit, that time shit is feeding more into my idea that her lifespan shit is going to be capped. I'm, I'm still of the mindset that her and Ash are going to supersede that in some way. And I think Technically, it already is capped because she's definitely yeah. lived past it by time. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. I, I think I think the limit's going to be gone at a certain point. I think for Cossack, it'll still apply, but I don't think it's going to apply for okay. Ash and Lee at this point. Let's focus on this section for a little bit. I think it's important, right? So... Okay. First, oh, uh, first, first, Glam, I want your like kind of thoughts on what you've seen with like not with everything you've seen from start to finish with Anata, his character, and things of that nature. And then I want to, I want to, man, because if Yaksha didn't exist, <laughs> what we could have. <laughs> oh, Anata's my boy, man. Oh, I like, I like, okay. Well, I, Yaksha's in like that honorable mention tier for me for like characters. Like, I agree. Not honorable to mention list at this point for Gabriel is fucking huge, but mm -hmm. Ananta would be in the well, he's in like a really I really like him. I don't love him. I gotta see a bit more of him, but I really like Ananta so far. I like how much different from basically all of the other Sura except for Aravata and Yaksha he is. Um Is he misunderstood? Oh hell well, I don't even think it's misunderstood. I think he, everybody projects an image onto him that they want. Rather it's like it's, it's like yeah, it's like crazy when you really think about it because it's just like when you hear how some people you know the, is he the one who got the sin of by, being a bystander? There's there's two yeah. there's two phrases yes. for it and stuff like that and stuff. Garuda too. was um yes. shitting yes. on yes, him. Yes, there we go. It was him. He was like, and, and after you kind of see, because like to me, what what made there's two things that made like made my heart sick. It's, and there's one part where you're looking at the paper and it's like it's just black. And like no, wait, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. No, if you look closely. And I'm like, bro, over. how many times did he try to rewrite certain things for the best for for, for a good course? How many times, bro? <laughs> how many? The paper was illegible. It was I couldn't believe it. I said, dog, he's trying his best, bro. I said, yo, this is insanity, bro. He 
He's going through it alone. And when that arc ended with the, I, I like to call it um, Anata's lingering will because of Kingdom Hearts, but you can call it the shedding, whatever you want to call it. And he said, who told you that uh, the, in- the instinct to survive was only for the weak? Mic drop. Mm. Fucking bar. <laughs> no, and that? Fucking think, bar! Wait, wait, I have a question for you too, Naya. I, I think I saw a glam tweet this. Maybe, I don't know if you knew this, but were we all surprised when a... Uh, when it was, when the, it, was, he, it was just a dude oh, in a fucking like, is this? polo. <laughs> and it's, and then, then he gets into the sky fighting them. And it's like, first king of the Inanna clan, Nasuka Ananda. And I was like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? My jaw dropped. <laughs> He, he just he just literally muscled out of his clothes. I, I was thinking he was just he a weak ass Nastica. And he folded it, Um this it this is Im- this is up oh to Abyss God. up to Abyss 20. No. The funniest shit was when he when he had Gonhavra and Gonhavra's like, shut the fuck up, and he just he snaps just, his neck. <laughs> snap your dad as he just sit your ass down. Go to sleep. <laughs> was... Anata, Anata honestly kind of embodies like a, an archetype I, t- I tend to really like in Eastern storytelling, especially. Where the character kind of comes across as goofy and aloof and seemingly kind of like an airhead and stuff, but behind the scenes, it's like they're doing so much and they're like they have those moments of being really serious and stuff like that. So like, yes, he just kind of resonated with me equally. I'm like he did and like in that arc, he did a lot of stuff cool with getting Aruna's the like Maruna's original name soul and giving it back to him. He's just like ear. It's like he's like wait what? Because <laughs> like, he died because the snowflake apple. The snowflake apple is called. Um, yeah, all those things. Yeah, like, yep. I, I thought it was really really good. And then after <laughs> when he when I think there's a I think he runs into a different version of Anata or from a different time and stuff later on when he like stops everything but he could still move. Like what? Why can he move? Hold on. <laughs> like it was just mm-hmm. I thought it was a great a great build up into that like I also he, say did this, it, this he is... didn't want to die I don't want to die that hurt my feelings too bro what, one thing that I think could put an anti overreaction for me is if I get a dedicated portion of the story showing how he met Rao mm-hmm. and their relationship with each other because when Ananta asked Rao to take up the sins upon himself which is also I'm not even going to talk about what that does for Maruna. We got to talk, we, <laughs> we'll we gotta, we gotta talk about we'll, Rao too, actually, but after this. But we'll, when he puts it on to Rao, I was like, okay, if he's asking Rao to do this, these two must be boys. Like, mm-hmm. it's some regard. Like, I need to see how the boyification between you, these two occurs. see the time, the, the, the time shenanigans, Ooh, shenanigans I, of I Anata need, and, and Rao. <laughs> just, I just... need time buddy cop film <laughs> with Anata and Rao. I need well, it. You also have to remember Rao also is the uh he's the uh he's not the it's not the priest what is it the, the temple of time temple just of the time shedding thing, the, the weird or, thing whatever what do you call it at least at some point he's he, just he, a keeper he, he, he was, gonna, he was, be a, keeper of the he was time. gonna be given it he was gonna be given yeah. it by ananta in that moment um because they've done they've d- the two of them have done some shit in time together before at least a couple times from what i can gather yeah if yeah. i get that in detail ananta could easily pass yaksha for me Personally, you I think, think we, though, do you think only we have to survive that when line was so cold was moving me? I mm-hmm. said, Yo, yo, bring him back. Um, sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting excited. I think Miles had something to say. I was done. An answer's raw. Uh, I'm no, about no, Lee's. I think I'm, Rao uh, Rao Rao also owner because someone oh, okay. said something specifically. I can't remember which character said something, but they were like, Oh no, he is currently the owner the of owner, the temple, the, he's the owner of the temple. Um, Said, yeah, right, um, Rao. Go ahead. I need more. He's in a similar situation to Garuda to me. I need more. Were you surprised to see him? Yes, one hundred percent. Um, I was surprised at first, and then immediately after I saw him, I was like, "Oh, this makes sense." <laughs> Did you like what you what you, what you saw? So it, yeah, I, he's okay. in. When I say like him and Garuda, he has I think intrigue. It's it's like it's like when I looked at um Yama. In season one and kind of still look at yama now there is a lot there you could do just gotta execute on it mm. okay. um okay. i asked naya this question especially I'm curious how he- if you do rao and veyu and rao and ananta because right. i think those are his two r- most important mm-hmm. relationships out the anna one i don't think it's anna's something you could do with him but i don't really think you it will be so i'm not even gonna consider it as a possibility to be honest you're not I still don't even know if Anna was dead this entire. That's that's an entire different thing. I know. I don't. Yeah. Know. Uh, I'm not even gonna. Again, <laughs> the the shit that has tripped me out the most of this whole series, other than God Kubera's whole fucking existence at this point, is 
how the fuck this shit that's going on right now with child Lee's makes any sense in the timeline. Yeah, like the fact that if her whole town was dead this entire time, but not even that as in her it's fucking just... her meeting Kubera as a kid. Why? No, that, that. that was that was we that was that. that's something that we we that was like very I don't was it explicitly or was it implicitly told but I, I think yes. we knew that but it's just like there's so much around that's, that, that's not fully adding up and especially when they're like remember when Anna panics and it's like yo this child does not have the capacity the ability to summon and after she's like hugs her and says I'm I'm like bro what's going on man that's so crazy it's Anna it's Anna Anna I'm telling Kaz, you it's yeah, the Anna Kaz, Kaz is just like yeah your mom left bro. Oh yeah, yeah, she got you to <laughs> die. I said, "What is good with this little nigga? What's going on? <laughs> like, why is he like this? Like, I'm, yeah, I, I he's, he's hey, off, to me, bro. it's like when she sees Kubera in a Terra. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I've never seen his ass before. That's why I was like, okay, she she literally summons him. It's like, oh God, Nim, do you need? Can you help me find my mom, God, Nim? And she just knows. She's just fucking fine with them being there. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And he's you, like, you have forgotten he's, he's, something. He's like, bro, did you, you yeah, summon me? He's like, me. He, he, he even asked her, like, did you summon me? He's like, don't lie. Like, I didn't. He started telling me, like, why, why wouldn't he be able to know that? Just an insight. So, like, I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe maybe there's some, there's some, there's some truth to what you're I saying. I agree with right? Miles. Because yeah, there was the scene Miles. of, like, the person in, like, in, like green green outline that, that mm-hmm. said, eat I ate to Kubera. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's I, Ananta's I, name being used in some way yeah. for that. I think Anata is using. I think it's the power of Anata in her that did it, mm-hmm. which I think I don't know if that's also why she doesn't have divine affinity because of Anata in her or something she like probably that. Probably has which is OD like fucking with that. Which, mm-hmm. Yeah, which is why her transcendental value is also super high. But uh, uh, it was foreshadowed. I can't. I can't remember at what point it was that when Kubera touched her head. It might have been when he asked her like uh. If you, can you spend the day with me? But when he touches her head, there's a really small panel of like a flashback. You don't see Kubera's age, but you can assume it's a young Kubera because it's just the top of her head and his hand as like a flashback to show. And she like somewhat recognizes it, but I don't think she can put a name to the hand. But she's like, it's definitely one of those things of like, this has happened before. I do not remember that, but I could probably see it on a reread. It's, it, it's like, it's like, yeah, I think it's early season two. That would have to be. Yeah, Keaton's in the chat telling me, yeah, it's like early season, or, or like maybe even early season one, but that happened. So we knew that they met, but I would assume, yeah, they, they, somehow... If that's the case, uh, Lee's, of, uh, Lee's has to have forgotten it in some way. How yes. that happens is going to have to be, is gonna have to be explained, but... Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why... Do you, do you believe that the town was dead this entire time? No. You I know, still, there's I a really weird... Dead. There's a really weird panel, Graham, in the first chapter, where when he she leaves the room with her mother... Yeah, it's dark. Like, as if she knows that something's going It's like, happen. yeah... I, that's Anna, what I Anna, initially Anna, Anna it has, has, it's, it's a big It's a big um, puzzle piece, for sure. Yeah. But... Glam, go, just re, when you when I re looked at it, thinking that the town was dead, it almost seemed as if like the illusion was just ending, and like it only like exists when like Lee's is in front of them. If that makes sense, the entire kind of like how like what's that scientific? Yeah, what's that like scientific theory of like everything only exists when you're like looking at it like in the matrix or whatever type shit? I don't kind of like that, that I don't but with like magic. I, th- I think all the people there are real. Even despite, I would like to think so. Even though, despite Clary's claim that her mom's date of death doesn't make any sense, it's more likely that the mom went into hiding and didn't actually die because Clary's too stupid to put that t- together. But yeah, Clary is dumb um, as fuck. Dumb I think fish. I think more likely it's the case that when Gar- or Maruna tried to destroy them, they were maybe transported somewhere, um, maybe to another planet. That's maybe for me. Future leads some someone place. got Kubera to save her past but, selves. Interesting. Golden Knight. I think the entire town of season one was just a mental transcendental season one episode twenty eight. These memories aren't fully reliable though. She lies to herself, and there's there's that part with Utah too where she like forget things too. That's a good. There's that too. So yeah. she's kind of a, an unreliable narrator in some ways. But um, damn, God, this stuff is so is so intriguing. But I do have to I do have to I, have to, I do have to pick your brain a little bit on Croha and his body and him getting guineaed. <laughs> I'm gonna say give me that body. 
<laughs> I said, Man. wait. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't tell you. I just didn't see that. Yeah. Comment. I'm like, did you just, did you just, I'm like, I'm like, you know what? My new, my new rule is if I see anybody in conflict and somebody just decides to wound themselves, I'm like, you try to body snatch. <laughs> That's my new rule. I'm trying to body snatch. Yeah, that's, a, that's the fourth I time I've seen that. Bavati, as soon as I saw him say Bavati Yama, I was like, "Oh, are you fucking kidding me, bro?" Because <laughs> I like Croa. Vritra Clang. So do I. So do I. Again. So do I. Like it's, it's cool. And I was like, "Come on, if he does, I mean, he was about to. He was old and probably going to die soon anyway. But like, you can't go out like this. Like, we also, cannot go out like this. Also, cool little tip." We actually see Kalavinka's full shore form, stage four, in mm -hmm. season one. And Kroha. That. They're both in the, uh, like, uh, tablets or whatever when Lee's is in. Uh, yeah, I remember Is that. it Cali Bloom? Yeah, it's in Cali Bloom. Yeah, they see him. That's her whole thing. And then, Glam, go to season one, episode 28, and go, like, to the middle of it. I'll do it later. Yeah, yeah. But you'll see the head pat. Let me... Okay, so let me ask you a couple of questions. Like, it's, it has to do with the narrative, but just kind of, like, on the outside and stuff. Like... What I wanted to ask you, I haven't caught up now. If you had to praise Curry Gamon, one thing specifically or a couple of things specifically, what would it be? And if you had to say she had a general weakness, where would that be? Meaningful character interactions is her best quality. Okay. Okay, because what she does differently from a lot of other... I'll, I'll use actually uh, Togashi as an example. When we and Naya give the criticism of him that he uses too much text mm -hmm. so gosh's mm -hmm. problem is not even character dialogue or interacting it's exposition for in those interactions and also in internal monologue for a lot of those times it's overabundance of that curry gum has bro. a lot of dialogue in her story a lot of dialogue but it's not exposition for the most part it's characters actually discussing things with one another getting the core of any issue that they're having with one another or having revelations with one another, especially when it comes to relationships that have been built up over and over again. Yuda Lees, Maruna Lees, Maruna Genharva, Agni Genharva, Agni Brilith. I could go on and on and on. It's mm -hmm. her easiest strength that she has. I actually think it supersedes her ability to conjoin 13 million different plot points into one arc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because I think it's, it leads to better content in this regard for the character and actions. Weakest point is still the execution of the power system, in my opinion. Pacing, is, not, pacing is still not that much of an issue. I mean, it's it's an issue that she has, I think. At, it, like, it's sporadic, but it's not constant. Mm -hmm. The fights and the character and like and it the, it'll, it'll occasionally rear its head. The fights and the, and the power system application is still her weakest point. And I'll say yeah. this, I'll say it again. Me and I have me and I now I say it a million times. Now that I'm in the community for this, you're gonna hear me say it with a million times. These fuckers are too strong to not be throwing hands. It's but it's a fantasy <laughs> romance. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we're literally this is why we're hyped for this chapter, because we're I seeing know. two potentially upper tier Nastika level fighters about to go at it. There's there's no more different words. Scrap. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See how scrap. I want to see some. I want to see some destruction and everything around you. Because uh, I have a video called like the art of conversation, how she could have dialogue. Because I don't. I I, I argue that with Curry Gum, like you said, the words that she like her like the words, the dialogue, the text, the things, the quotes, everything used, they're all meaningful. And it's not just like I'm saying this so the person who is reading, reading, playing, or watching the thing understand what's going on. It's like no, this is what these two characters would actually talk about in this situation if they were to run into each other like it makes mm -hmm. sense everyone's in character everyone's like lines and quotes or whatever are in lines with their motivations ideals and goals for the future and things of that nature and i, I just don't think there's any wasted dialogue like like, like go, go back to the, the the tagashi thing the some of the biggest problem with it is a lot of it's unnecessary mm -hmm. I, you don't have to do all of the tell me somebody's sneaky and a lot of it like you said it's like this is the way for the author, the, um, the person reading to know what's going on. It's like, this is like me randomly just going to like Lamb and being like, oh man, do you remember, do you remember that time when like <laughs> Goku Barra came to the, like, like, like you just, you just, you just, it's just exposition for exposition's sake. I hate that shit. 
Don't do that. I hate when stories do that. Where it's like, they wouldn't be having this random conversation. Like, remember when King Kong broke the building? And then I was like, bro, that's not what, like, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's insulting to my intelligence. They should be fighting for could Bernie's more fight. It really, I really don't like Tanaka for that, just because I know it's supposed to be a romance more than anything. But like I said, it, I'm just like, why did you make them so powerful where I can wrap myself yeah, around the it, planet it, eight it, times? I'm like, no, fight! Like, <laughs> bro, the fact that, like, third in the hierarchy Nastika of these Sura clans are planetary. Like, it's like... And then you, that's not... That's just all these fuckers. Like, the Suras and gods are, are, an issue, are one issue. The amount of high-level magicians who aren't fighting is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Lutz is apparently god tier, he's nice. and he's not. It, but he hasn't done shit. <laughs> yeah, Lutz has been severely underutilized because he has he actually had more base vigor than Ran. Yeah, like and was, he, like I think it was stated, like if he had been double A, he would have been second instead of Ran, only under yeah. Saha. I said, but I, but yeah, because he also was doing, I think he's like outside of Asha. He's the only one that's ever done like two styles of magic together, like using Hoti, Indra, and Bavadi Brahma at the same time and things like that. Mm-hmm. I think he's the only one we've seen do stuff like that before. Uh, uh, Terry, someone need to take Sura for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but I don't, I mean, I don't think, even though he would have a higher rank than Lila, like, I don't think, especially after what I've seen with Jabril, that's why I said, like, that no, shit was Lila, without, I'm not without the lie. spear. That That's why I told was, you, Glam. That shit was true. He's stronger than Tio. That's why I said, nah, she didn't need the spear for Tio. She would have just beat her, honestly. I, I agree with that now. Although, <laughs> pre-mind uh, change-up Tio with the two swords might have been a problem. but I think it would have been a problem, but I still think she would have got it. Um, because to even compete with Jabril is just really insane. I, I actually want to, because we talked about the Lee's thing as well. That was another. The whole section of them during... The cataclysm on Wallarv is really fucking weird in terms of what, yes. like, what the hell's going on with Brilith, Jabril, and Talith. Don't know what the issue is there. It seems like that Jabril's real name is also Kubera. Kubera. That's what I took it as. From the dialogue with her and Lila. Why is Lila there at all? Yeah. Is he, she a bad bitch? Like, yeah, it's like, I don't know why she's there. The fact that Talith was the Temple of Destruction priest while the temple was destroyed is weird as well. Yes. And why is Akasha sending in this many Rakshasa on this point to deal with something? Like, there's a lot of shit and going Jabril on. And kind of just dies in, like, a I, really I, not I Is she dead? Is she just unconscious? How did she die at all? Like, I don't... It's like... The, <laughs> There's a lot of shit there that I guess I guess summoning Kubera killed her, like vigor I, wise. But I still don't know if the next day happened because she specifically says I have to hold on for the day or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah, it's like there's a lot of weird shit going on there. And now that they just left, it's like okay, wasn't something's gotta happen? And also, just to kill, kill Jabril, you think it was literally that simple? I, I don't know. Maybe you, know, you could be right. The thing is, they were friends. So yeah, there had like, to be some know what, reason yeah, why I don't she know wanted what to the there. So and unless also, she's... Kalavinka being there and seeing Lee's and Kaz also like, how does Lee's not remember this now? <laughs> like, this is huge. Because they're like, that Nuna's crazy strong. <laughs> so wait, wait. By the way, Kaz, okay. it's not a friggin' bear, bro. What's good with you? What is Fats, wrong with him? Know what <laughs> bro, yeah. Kaz needs to... I really... Also, I it, it's some weird twisted way. I think he's the most twisted character in Kubera. I don't know why. <laughs> he's a... He's, bro. He, like, that dude is wrong? a whack job. What is going I, I on in his brain? I think, I'm curious. He he probably has the soul of just some really strong weird dude. Honestly, I don't bro, know who I would, it is. I would not be surprised if this fucker somehow summons Kelly. To be honest. Like if he's like a DOS villain. I would not be surprised. That, that would be. He does. He can see the future because didn't he know like what would happen to Lee's? And he's like, I, I want you to die so you don't have to deal with this. So that he knows shit. something. Still fucking weird. Still weird. <laughs> so Cass, because who? I don't know Kaz what these the nil 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 dudes. Also, wait. Where did that cat go? As well, Vishnu's a bitch <laughs> just taking that cat. Oh, the didn't fucking the cat go back cat? in time. <laughs> yeah, back no, in time? Vishnu took the cat and never appeared again. <laughs> Like, bye. Maybe that's. 
I don't know, bro. You know, the gift, you, know the, you know the gift for the guy who played Ray Mysterio? Oh, I mean, Ray Mysterio is crazy. Mysterio and, uh, <laughs> and um, Spider-Man. And he, he just like yeah. kiss when he walks away. <laughs> That's what he did. He took the cat and he left. Facts. My, my weird thing is I kind of want to say, I don't want to say this for sure, but I feel like Lila's playing the same game as Ashta because I can't remember the interaction, but there was an interaction where Lila's talking to Lee's. Let's be the and last Lee's, Bears surviving or whatever it was like. Yeah, and Lee's there. leaves thinking Lila was being nice to her and stuff. And I think Lila apologizes in her head. But, like, I think the implication was Lila's literally sending Lee's to die. I don't so think she that's won't that. die. I, I can't remember that. the interaction. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? Yeah, I know it was when Lee's was in a cell for what because she disobeyed Chandra or some other shit. I, I think. I don't, because again, I don't think Lila was really trying to kill Brillith. That's my thing as well. I don't know. Or you mean Jabril? Or Jabril? Yeah, Jabril. I don't. I don't think she's actually trying to kill Jabril because I don't. I don't think there's really any reason for her to try and kill Lee's either. Because also, didn't her master just die? Uh, it's a cladoclism. Yeah, yeah, it it was. I think it was. Yeah, it was. But after Chandra it. literally had to have just pulled up and killed her master as well. Yeah. So I don't know. What Lila's I what aim is? You were asking to delay the event for ten years. Because he was like, water. "This cat's not gonna lead to delete." Oh, I oh, I think I also commented about before they fought, didn't she? When they talked, I felt they. Oh, well, I actually did read your comment earlier. I don't know if you were there when I read one of your comments, but but that I, I sped run like I sped at the speed run like sixteen days for the comment. I'm like, I'm like, I haven't asked a comment in sixteen days. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, I guess I guess oracles also were a thing far more common, so it is possible that a lot of these people did get hella oracles, like people mm. pre cataclysm. Yeah. So that could be like a lot of factors we're not thinking about. Like Jabril probably could have got a cloud. Of- could have gotten an oracle. That's why she knew she needed to last for like, like the ten years to be fine. Hmm. What do you say Maybe. Enough? I was saying if everybody was getting oracles back in the day, right? Yeah. It's possible Jabril got an oracle. That's why she would know if she survived the night. Oh. Uh, everything would delay for 10 years because she probably could have got an oracle. Same with Lila maybe got an oracle because I forget how... Cause they were relatively often things. Like they had the entire shrines where people would literally go up and just talk uh, to God. I had one with uh, Surya at one yeah. point. Yeah. So oracles are really common. So that's probably another factor we have to consider. Like a lot of these people probably have oracles. Mm-hmm. Stay, stay there for a second. Um, let me ask you something. Um, Glam, do you do you think? I'm, I'm, this, first of all, this this is not me saying blindly follow everything will be fine. But do you think that she, has a career got built up enough good rapport for you that you're like she know you th- you think she has a completely good handle of what she's doing with the story? Yeah. Like, like, um, let's let, let's say there's like a, a plot thread you're in the middle of, or a character development you're in the middle of, and you're not entirely sure where it's gonna go, or you're kind of waiting for it to come back full circle. Do you generally have faith that it's gonna come back full circle and make sense? Well, this is the way I am for most stories now. You, authors getting benefit of the doubt from me is a very hard task to to achieve. That's why. Um, and even when they get it, I'm still gonna reserve judgment on the plot line because the plot line can be bad, even if the author is very good. Mm-hmm. So. But usually I'll just take a wait and see approach on it for anything, especially if they've earned my trust enough. And I think that she has now. Is that to say that she is uh, incapable of writing something ass in the future? No, it is not. Um, yeah, that's, I'm that's, not going to wholly totally, dismiss that's that. That's totally fair. Happened. That's totally fair. Yeah. I just wanted to, that's why I said not blindly follow, just like, you know, because like with me, it's like, yeah, I could be thinking about something. I'm like, oh, I don't know about this right now, but. I don't go out do a thing where I'm like, I don't believe I like, like where I'm like, I like, like, Oh, I'm like, I don't even think it's going to make sense later. When I, when, when, if he does, yeah. explain, if he does explain it, you see, he's like, first of all, you might not. And if he does, <laughs> am I going to like that shit? Like, I don't have that problem here. So that's one to know. And, and, and I don't know how, I don't know if you read webtoons off of Naver or, or anywhere else, but is the, what is this one of the best webtoons you've read? This is the best webtoon I've read. This is better than Tower that's, God. Even that's, what, that's really that's really what I wanted to hear, but I was trying to, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> I, was trying, yeah. I was trying not to, tell you know, suck too much, <laughs> too much Listen, clitoris. So, yeah. Uh, right. After the at once Craig the time travel, Craig comes yeah, again. I, I mean, he's right. He is true. That is that is this is true facts. Okay, don't don't try and change this into something else. Yeah. else. Anyway, yeah, come on, man. Wait, uh, okay. <laughs> hey yo, this- <laughs> I was hacked. So. 
<laughs> yo, future, yo, future me took over my body. That wasn't me. I didn't say that shit. What the fuck? Go ahead. Yeah, but this is better than Tower God, even at its peak. For me. Oh yeah, yeah, no, easily. It's not. It's not. Be done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, 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 that's something. That's something I just, I just wanted. To, um, and 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 do you think her art got better with time? Yeah. Okay. Still room to grow, but yeah. definitely improvement. Uh, I'm not mad at it. I got. I got. I got some questions. Do you only, oh, we only have, have only have one other real. Things. I have only have one, one uh, other real I question, and then we, then, then we can just, then we can just talk about all the story events. This is the last thing I'm going to ask you, really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Maroon, with Maruna and Rand, but especially with, Mar- with Maruna, because I think Maruna said now she's top one oh, yeah. by a wide margin, right? Undisputed. Or by okay. Yeah. I, right. I will be shocked if some character surpasses him okay. at this rate. Shocked. Even though I truly don't <laughs> think it's fully, fully done yet, or but I do think it's nearing its end, maybe. Maruna's character arc. How great was that? Oh my god, bro! I, I like I said. It, okay, I'll say this you, right now. Me and you have read, played, and seen a lot, and I still think it's yes. one of the best I've ever seen. I'll say this a lot. This this is this might be the best slow burn character arc that I've had because this because okay. Maruna's been in the story for a long. Because I, I can bring up a, an example of a very quick character arc happening that was amazing for me. Mm-hmm. And a lot of, not a lot of people in the audience are go, or audience in the chat are gonna get this one, but I'll, it's an example of something that I really enjoy in terms of storytelling. R.A. Salvatore's first trilogy in the Legend of Dritz, regarding his journey from the Underdark to the surface, and how Dritz's mentality is inherently different from his fellow Dark Elves, and how he goes about having to deal with this. Mm-hmm. And coming to his own and realizing what he values and why he wants to escape this place and arriving on the surface, trying to find essentially what he needs. He's trying to find a home, spiritually and physically. That was in just the first book, you see how he's rebuffing the teachings of his uh totalitarian, backstabbing, absolutely fucked religious zealotry society, and how he goes against that. It's it's immediate. Maruna, his arc, always, like, you can tell where it's going to go from very early on in the story, but I don't think it really even starts until the end of season two. I don't think the arc actually begins until that point. And even when it starts going on in season three, it is slow. Like, we have... It's so slow, it takes a hundred chapters from the main crux of the character arc with the time travel going on for it to actually get close to its finish and we're still not even at the finish line yet and even when he comes back into the present time in fifth stage i still don't think the arc's over and i don't think his arc's going to be over until really the end of the story you, 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 so yeah, I, sorry real quick so the reason, the reason I said, why i think there's more ahead. to it because because of the sins i didn't i never saw the sins yeah. play, coming into it at all but keep going bro when he took an anti sins for Rao, mm. i was like he's the goat this is not even close he's the goat there's no argument <laughs> he's he's too fucking goaded to do that. And w- I love this line from him when he, that he took mm-hmm. from OG OG Brilith, which is actually wild to me. The they Brilith, asked you they asked the you where Dritz is from. He's from Dungeons and Dragons, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Forgotten Realms, Dungeons and Dragons. If you look up uh, R.A. Salvatore stuff, that that's what he's from. Um, yeah, amazing. It's it's, it's, it's like Dritz Do Do Erden. Do Erden. Do, Do, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look if up. If you want to find an example yeah. of a Gary Stu slash Mary Sue done right. That motherfucker is it because he's raw at a lot of things, mm-hmm. but he's one of the most philosophical characters I've run into in a long time. Yeah, R dot uh, R dot a, um, a dot Salvatore. Salvatore. Yeah. Yep, I'd recommend it for anybody that's a fan of fantasy, especially the first trilogy, uh, Homeland, Sojourn. Oh my God, what's the third one? I can't remember. Oh, the you'll find you'll find it somewhere, but whatever. Uh, what? But like when he got the sins. Maruna was go to, and also I love the line that he got from OG OG Brilith, which is also wild. I, okay, that was my point. When he would, it's crazy to me that she fell in love with both Maruna and Agni yeah. <laughs> as like an OG human. But when he said, when he stole the line from her that every life is a universe, like he's different now. Yeah. This man is, he's learning to value, and we saw this from a lot of, like Shuri was the biggest example of this, and then later ran. Lead, learning to treat individuals' lives as equals into his own, which that was his main thing. He didn't hate humans. 
He just thought they were insects that could be crushed mm -hmm. that he didn't need to pay any attention to. And it, it makes the arc so good. actually rather super indifferent on them. Like, whatever. This is a bunch yeah. Of... That's like, and, I'd say Maroon is a classic. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, ex I'd say Maroon is a classic example of character development and character change. Because I wouldn't say character growth because he doesn't really have a character flaw. Because there's something that really hampers him in any sort of way other than maybe indecision. Yeah, when like, uh, obviously maybe maybe, maybe if you believe what the God of Earth said, maybe he's yeah. He but that seemed like calculated. sort of an isolated isolated yeah. thing more than anything else. Although maybe you could come up with other examples early in the story if you thought hard enough about it. Yeah. I think the Do way I, he went and interacted with Yuta even. Yeah, yeah, that's potential too. Um, that part was but like seeing, have, you see him develop that part where he sees him when he grabs him by his face was awesome. By the way, that was funny as hell. Yes. He got he got that's so great. expressive in the third season. I love the scene when he found the snowflake apple. Yeah. As a fourth stage with Enon. Like, maybe I'll eat it because I don't, you know, I thought meat was good. And then he's, he's like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Why did I stop eating it? I was done. I was dying. <laughs> and also, when he wrote down uh, not buying to OG Brilleth. Oh, what you was about to talk oh, about? Yeah. thought she was a salesman. Yeah. That took me out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's had a, he, he's had a couple of moments like that. I'm like, oh, he's killing me. But he, he, remember when he's when he's explaining to the ancient humans, like I, I don't know, if it was magic or the sun or math. something. You, math, it was oh, math. There you go. The sun and the, <laughs> and the sun and the, and the solar system. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It was uh, so. Good. And I also say that the the story reflects this slow burn in terms of the writing and and the actual story, which I think actually heightens it, at least from like a potential thematic standpoint. Because this dude spends millions, millions. I don't even know. It, Billions, it's, maybe, it's perhaps, at bare minimum, a few millennium yeah. <laughs> amongst these people. No, it's what do you mean uh, these I mean, people? I'm joking, these I'm really, people. I'm really glad because there, there's nothing worse, I think, when like authors try to like uh, show how cool their like characters by like being the fastest. And I'm glad he wasn't like the fastest to break in fifth stage, it which is reflective forever. of him because it takes forever for him to get to any stage. Yes, and then. I'm curious, Glam. Did you ever mistake at a certain point when you thought he was gonna tr change? Because no. I genuinely thought at like the end of, uh, I think, the wait of time. Yeah, I think at the wait of time, I was like, "Is this the moment?" What moment are you talking about, Miles? Uh, I can't remember the specific moment. I, it was it was closer to like I think the end of wait of time or another moment. I have to go back because there's so much that happens. But I, I miss I I'm, what I'm asking is like, did you ever miss Gage? Like when you're like, this is the moment where he's gonna change, and you're like, oh no, it's not. I mean, I can't think of one personally. I did not think he was gonna change when the Ananta shit was happening personally. Okay. Like, I just because I would, I just didn't think it was. I thought personally, what I thought was gonna happen was that he was gonna change right before they returned to the past. Or when that, they return the, to the the chapter before he transforms, Ra he actually does um, for a second turn fifth stage, and Ral says he looks different. I do not remember that, but I, I was no, I didn't catch, I didn't catch, point. I didn't catch it. The, the, this, uh, listen, some of the things that I'm telling you, I'm being carried by chat, bro. I promise. Hilarious. <laughs> they they got my they sometimes I miss them. They'll they'll they'll, they'll, they'll let me know. Hey, you missed this. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. That's true. <laughs> they let me be know. They, I don't. I listen. I work for them. <laughs> it's okay. And hey, listen. The, the, this, me. Is what, this is my policy every time. The first read is not there to catch every detail. Yeah, that's yeah. what the reread is for. And when you I agree, yeah. when you reread a story, that's when you gain the full value of it. Yeah, that's, that's why, why my ratings are subject. Stuff. That's why my ratings for stories are always subject to change whenever I reread something. Yeah. That's why. That's why even. Slower too. And that's why. Glenn, maybe you might even have a different opinion of Shades. Because I remember we had this talk, Naya, but like now I can say Naya because Chess was born at the beginning. But like mm. Maruna went through all of this, and Chess is still older than Maruna. Chess is which well, is just that's, crazy. That's, Chess is still like a top three honorable mention for me. I love that man. That's why I'm like, what could make? Because he has to go through tremendous. Something uh, with Lenny. I'm going to call it right yes. now. Yeah, with Erivata's soul like getting re yes claimed or whatever. But when he, he goes through stuff like two times a year, I feel that I I'm just I'm just so busy. Chess is goaded as well. Yeah, I I Chess is also somebody I want to I want to pay close attention to in my reread because I don't dislike him, but I, I I would argue that I'm the only person who doesn't rate him as highly 
as everyone else does. So I want to know if it's something I wasn't paying attention to because maybe I was distracted He's just, by I think it was Utah Maya, being is horny or was, something. I don't know. When he was Maya. introduced, what? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. When he was first introduced into the story, I think it was just because he was such a a different take on the Suras with different mentalities in the story when he was introduced mm-hmm. that made me gravitate towards him. It was just like a neutral party, which he's really not. He's really more on the side of the humans than anything else. I, and I think that's going to even be heightened more so when Aravata, if Aravata ever does come back in full, she can be like, yeah, definitely side with the humans. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> that's going to be some shit that's going on too. And I think it'd be interesting to see if Shes has a conflict of interest in that in terms of Kinar and Aravata. Um, but yeah. Oh, you know, I forgot to ask you about real quick. Um, well, I mean, you can just kind of, you don't have to go into detail. Do you, do you like Anan uh, Ramia, uh, Rana's um, ancestor or whatever? Burp um, because I, I, I just thought the, 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 the overkill part in the tournament was somewhat interesting where they're like, yo, he, he, he doesn't have to like kill them and body them like that because back then they still used to use um, Hadi Visnu or whatever. Um, yeah. And then it, the, the Daksha, the kid, I think he was the sixth king of humanity or humans, something like that, 16th, mm-hmm. 16th king, I think, that Indra had given him like his um larger and stuff and i think he was kind of being controlled and manipulated by injury and everything so that that stuff was like somewhat pretty cool but I I, to, uh, the, the, the character aspects of that for enon and daksha mm-hmm. weren't moving me like they were they were like i it was good yeah, to so, see from a world building it was good to yeah. see from a world building perspective though like any sort of his, major historical event which this was being fleshed out in this way i think is good for the overall like understanding of events that happen in the story but like in terms mm-hmm. of the characters themselves Meh. Or whatever. And and I and I I have to actually pull it up here, so give me a second. But um art 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 ram being there was interesting. I think it I think it was I wanna say it was was it last week's blog post miles or two weeks ago when they were she was talking about the other the side story she wanted to do. Do you remember? Yeah, she oh, had a I whole think it was list last week. She had a whole list of them that she wanted to do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm and there was yeah, like no, a, a mystery three part one that she said. Yeah, I, uh, I think I think that's yeah, fine. Yeah, okay, 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 right here, right here. I found it. Yeah, it's eighteen. It's eight. I think it's, uh, I think it was the best eighteen. So it's basically, the 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 options were the story of Art Ram and her Phoenix magic friend, plus the story of Anand and Art Ram later on, because um, they're intro- she was introducing that flashback. So I'm like, okay, that could be interesting. Two, the story of Kinara and Aravata in the beginning, where their powers were normal. Three was the story of Shuri and Yaksha and his mate. Two episodes. Um, I need Kad- that. Kadru's life story. Uh, whatever. And then Theo was classified. Yeah, yeah. Theo was classified. Uh, those ones are the ones that were like. Which one sounds most interesting to you? Definitely Yaksha. No, no. Kadru's the uh, NASA, the Dragon Nastica. The guy oh, that that's, that, that's the one that Texaka kicked the yes. shit out of. Yes, yeah. Yes. Because yes. so um, I think the um, yeah, the Shuri action one's cool. The Kanara Aeroth one's cool. I actually think the Art Realm stuff could be cool. I, don't, I just uh, like. She said, oh, if I had to prioritize, I'd probably pick those two, though. But The Art Ram thing is just like, it's like more OG Brillith. Con- and here's the thing. Whenever I'm looking at OG Brillith versus normal Brillith, it's like, I just, I don't really care about the past lives that much. Wait, Art Ram's a past life of Brillith? Yeah. That's what I think, anyway. Seen that way. When, I, when Agni met her and then Yama's like, you don't even realize who she is. I was like, that's for sure. Life wait, you I think, think that you're Shuri missing interpreting. Mate, so wait. Shuri wasn't his first partner. Ooh. Wait, no, Artram's the one that was. She was barely mentioned in in uh in Anata. She was around with Anan. Yeah, pick here. And um, yeah, she has a line about the gods being some some some, and that's I'm like that's blasphemy. Oh, no. Yeah, she was like she was a soldier, mm. and like she met Agni, and then Yama was like, "You don't even realize who this is." When Agni was no, about it, she didn't, she didn't meet Agni. Wait. Yeah, not a, not in the Nata arc. It was in um, a special chapter. No, no, that's not, that's not that's not that's oh, not Oh, okay, that's not the. I thought it was. Never mind. No, Arch Archram's in the Nata arc. Like she's like it a background the character. Pink pink haired bitch. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So that's then. Okay, so I don't remember the context for why I saved this comment specifically, but I'm gonna, maybe if I read it, I'll remember. So remember, remember when Agony told the first Brilith that gods couldn't help ancient humans early on because they're still trying to get the universe to have more energy, and Soros mm-hmm. kept destroying planets in that time. I took it as gods 
only gained enough power after enough humans were killed, which I assume turned into vigor. What do you guys think about that? Uh, I think that's, that's possible. Theory, that's a theory concerning vigor because vigor is the it's the shit inside Ran, and it's also the blue boys that Kalaminko yeah. is beating the shit out of. I, I mean, I think it would still give credence to what I think. I still think it's the losers of the previous universe. Vigor boys. But yep. Is Ran? That's trade. That's trademarked by me, by the way. Did they take over? Did they take over? Did they take over Ran? <laughs> we'll find nah. out one day. Oh, that's fucked up. Real accepting her. Speaking of, because I, I didn't, I didn't talk about Ran yet. Um, oh yeah, yeah, spe- yeah. His stock been going up. You know, because actually, oh, sorry, that reminded me. Of, oh, I'm sorry. I have so many questions. That reminded me of the last thing. I realized I'm about to ask you, because mm-hmm. Ran was a character that I never expected to like this much, right? So I wanted to ask you. There's a character that's kind of in your like top ten or one of your favorites that you never expected to like this much, and vice versa. Easily a character not. you thought you'd have liked more. In terms of like that, I never thought I would like as much because mm-hmm. I, I take in cer- certain points when I look at characters, I'll like briefly look at like what they look like on like a wiki page before I do it. That's just the way I am. And it's not like it's not I don't really feel spoiled when I do things like that. I can't. I've Same. seen Cossack. I can't. I've seen Cossack. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I had seen Cossack at one point. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, he can look cool. And now, when I read him, I was not like, pink. Are I'm the green hair girl? Am I? Am I nape? Oh, sorry, keep going. Well, I don't who, I'm yeah, I was like, Kasak Radjoff is the fucking goat. <laughs> when I was reading him, and uh, honest to God, like, I might have to change this. Like, uh, yeah, I might have to. Oh, I don't know, man. Him and Brilith is hard because Brilith I did expect to like, but her previous life shit is kind of not moving me. I just want to. I want to see more current stuff with her, but. Mm-hmm. In, the, in that example, I did not expect to like Cossack as much as I did. Okay. Characters that I disliked that I thought I would like. I think that they dislike it. Just like I'm like, you know what? I didn't think I like this character like this because again, Rand's stock just kept rising, and then like Rand's in my top five. But Rand, I never, I never disliked him. I just like, I just like, he's a nice, funny guy. He's a good guy, cool guy. He's like Rack. Maybe you want to say I thought he'd be like a Rack type. I'm like, nah, he's so much more. Yes, Lorraine. I thought I would like her more this off rip, but she got annoying real fast. Yeah, I guess. Well. No Lorraine in this house. I mean, I had no, no, I can't even say that because I didn't really give a fuck about Lorraine at all. So I was like, nah. Um, yeah, I don't think there's one in that second category I could really think of. Um, Fair in enough. regards to Rand specifically, yeah, go ahead. I mean, he's all, he's almost in my top five. Like him and Gandharva are like extreme diffing for that last spot right now. <laughs> um, I I think what's gonna really affect rands because for maruna like i know where it's gonna end i okay. don't know where it's gonna go for ran in terms of his arc so far because it seems like the intention of this is like hey we're gonna break you down from this sort of happy go lucky but also very empathetic character to one that's a lot more jaded and uh overly aggressive due to an over sense of protectiveness for his family. That's the way I see it going. But I need I need to see how it ends in that in that regard too. Because I'm not sure cuz we I'm still not sure how we go from where we're at now to where he's at in the present where he's ready to murder Brilith and seemingly Shess mm-hmm. over very I, I would honestly either a minor infraction or a misunderstanding of sorts. Um, which is not like him. And I'm not yeah. sure if that's because there's also Vigor Boys playing some role in this as well. That's hard to determine. But I'll say this I'll say this in terms of the arc that he's had. Him and Maruna's relationship is fantastic. His relationship with Yaksha, fantastic. His small interactions with Tatya and Hanuman and Kalavinka, because I think Ran is just an easy character to insert in a character in actions, and they're usually going to be good mm-hmm. because of who he is. I would love to see more from him in Hanuman, especially because Hanuman seems a lot more inclined to interact with. Uh, I Oros. thought Hanuman's return was really good. Yes, I was. I was very excited to see it, um, especially considering the, the level of care she demonstrated for Ran when she knew mm-hmm. who he was in like terms of family. I was like, okay, we'd love to see that. But I got. I'll say, like, the, the highlight of the arc is whatever now is going to be. 
even just like kind of like, like letting like Rand cry in front of her. Yeah, even like, she didn't make the little joke after, but like as soon before as, as she soon as that like, happened, oh. I was like, "Hey, man, that's grandma. That's all right. Do that shit." <laughs> <laughs> but but like the the highlight of the arc, everybody knows what it is. Heart of Yaksha is easily the most important part. It denotes shit with his mom, shit with his dad, who he is. Is I'm I'm actually willing to bet after the Yaksha stuff, he might not have a fear of halves anymore. To be honest, um. And also the the suriform is just too clean, especially when he was in space with wings. Come on, man, that shit was different. <laughs> Goat, he's just he's just there looking at some body. Like, what's going on here? Why oh, he looks so raw? Yeah, he's like, saying, oh. "Are you really a fifth stage?" I'm disappointed. I was like, "Oh my god, talk to this bitch, please." Do you uh? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, I'm I'm curious. That's nice. Uh, let let's just say for some odd reason, don't think too hard. But let's say Rao replaced Rand's position early on when they first went in the time like thing. Do you think Rao could have had equal, more or less impact on Maruna like Rand did? I guess the one variable I would be missing to some degree is like I guess I I don't I want to know if like Rao was generally the way that we saw it presented is he generally always kind of like that is that how he really is and or is, I don't, like I haven't really seen him a moment I would say yes based off what everybody says I think he I think he's very much like Lee's in that sense of like always doing stuff with people and not presenting how hurt he really is okay um. Yeah, I think it could. I think I think it could have been comparable. I don't. I, I just don't think they would have gone about it the exact same way. But I think it'd make yeah. it up. Just real quick. So hold on. I'm stupid. This this character with the green hair with the scarf. That's Art Ram. Oh, that's that the, bitch? the pink hair. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a green hair girl. Okay, my fault oh. then. My bad. I'm done. Man, that's okay. That's extra mid. I do. I do not care. I thought. I thought it was. One. I thought it was this. I thought it was the chip. The chip eating one. My fault. So I, I take that back. I apologize. I don't want to spread no misinformation. Yeah. Okay. If that's the case, then I like super extra. Don't care. Like that can. Yeah. That and Kadru was yawn. Easy. Oh, scroll down a bit. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Kadru's interesting because he he seems to have like weird. I could be weird past, but also some level of actual like kind of personality. Am I tripping? Nah, he just seems like a meathead. Or like dismissive of a lot of shit to me. I don't remember back. I'm just saying because anytime I see like a dragon having any semblance of, I mean, that emotion, yeah, that yeah, you're right. My name is Art Ram. I was recently point. like, yeah, Priest of Magic. Okay, yeah, my fault, guys. I, I, I don't know. I made a mistake. This the pink hair yeah, character probably stayed in my I, like stick stick in my crawl a little more just because of the line about the gods and blasphemy, blah blah blah, stuff like that. But it was Art Ram who was like, no, we can't see it. That's blasphemous. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I don't, yeah, she whatever. Yeah, I just know that I just know that creation magic is like we kind of start here, so just this is a this is a very important historical figure. But yeah, world building. Mm -hmm. Nah, I mean, but yeah, is there anything else? Is there anything you, you think you need to highlight? Anything? Anything? Any? Oh. How do you? Think about, how do you? I never asked you. I don't know if I ever asked you about the locations in general, like Cali Bloom and all the places we go to. How do you like the like the environment and the backgrounds and whatnot, like how the places look in general? They look good. I've, I've always liked I'm Aero Plateau. I really like Aero Plateau. I like it a lot. I think what La I think what Larv and the planet where the ancient humans are are easily the best. Oh yes, yes. Ancient looking. human like city was going crazy. Yeah, looking places. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm not talking about importance necessarily, just kind of aesthetically. Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think. Yeah, Air Plateau is 100% the most distinct place, in my opinion. Um, Atera was good to look at. Rind, Rind Hollow is interesting. Um, I'd like to actually see more of Eloth, personally. Okay. Um, Misty Shore is, I just, every time I, I, when I see Misty Shore, I just think of like that one town in a Pokemon game that's on the coast that's always there. <laughs> By the water, gonna surf, gonna, they gotta surf too. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the exact yeah. thought that I have whenever I think of fucking Misty Shore. That's funny. Um, 
I think the one place that could use more looking into would be the Sur Realm, even though the Sur Realm is kind of supposed to be this wasteland. So it's like kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't type thing with that in terms of world building for me. The God Realm is... It's also supposed to be barren, but idyllic. And I feel like I've gotten that so far, but I kind of like to see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What about Al? Yeah, but that's about it, though. <laughs> Maybe a couple other different planets, too, but it seems like... This one, that, actually, a question I have. It's like the rest of the... Is the entirety of the human race at this point fucking extinct other than Willarv? Mm. I don't think so, but... No, I, I used to know. think that, but I sw in season two... But Runa says something that indicates that there are other planets with people on it. I'll be right back. It's like planetary about. gods and shit too. Yeah. Because that was the other I, thing I most like I, it seems weird as well to me that none of these other planets don't have any sorcerers good enough to summon any of the fifth zen at all so far. It seems like just Willar's people are just goaded. Yeah, but I, I would also assume maybe because also they're not being attacked really by Suras at this point. That to me is like... At least no superior Suras, because that's why they need the gods here. Because all the superior Suras got left out. They're, yeah, they unlike, to be in this unlike a technical level, the lack of other planets that have people on them is like a world-building issue, but also it's like... I think it's actually a good thing that it's not because I think you're you're the scale's big enough already. I think expanding yeah. to multiple planets with multiple characters that could also summon the other gods is biting off a lot more than you can chew. And I'm willing, to, I'm willing to give that a pass, even though it's technically an issue. And Corey is right; they were blowing up planets before. Yeah, they, there was. That's why I asked that. It was yeah. like I thought. Because Cart was destroyed in five, it was after the Cataclysm, so it wasn't. Yeah, that, that's why I was saying, like, is it possible that the rest of humanity is just dead, and that's why everything is so fucked, and why Vishnu is just gone because he's trying to figure out a way to handle it? But I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just happy that you're in this. I just we in there. I need. I have, I have two quick questions, just in like general questions. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Uh, and just a one random thing that I found that I, I was, I don't know why I didn't realize, but like Lee's and Rand are technically related. That like threw me for a loop. Cause Lee's is, uh, Heist. Or, yeah, Heist. Yeah. Uh, Lee's mom and, uh, Rand's aunt are like distantly related. Yeah. That threw me off. I was like, I, I don't know why I didn't reckon. There's a lot of those things of like people being related to people and you don't just like pay attention well enough. Well, I actually think like, it makes the older brother, younger sister dynamic that they better ha had. Or, I guess more it's, accurate. It's, it's like kind of not there anymore. And it yeah, so, uh, still. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it makes it much like, okay, this works because you're yeah. family. Same like with like the Prawl Asia's guy. Is supposedly Proha's son. Who's that Jay's again? I can't remember. He was in season one. He's the president, or he's the uh, headmaster of the Atera. Oh, Academy. got the blonde hair. I yeah. Remember. Yeah, I remember him. He's like Proha's son, but like there's like a thing of like he doesn't admit it or something. Okay. Uh, but my two questions are, one, in Frozen Tear, is the hand near Brilith, was that Kubera? God or lady? God, God. This is this is right when uh, Agni just dealt dealt with was dealing with Gon Havra after he certified. Okay, yeah. There's here's one thing I gotta ask too because there's the dialogue when Agni and Gon Havra first meet in Atera, To my knowledge, has not been expanded upon. Am I tripping in that regard? Because it was like blotted out with like Korean uh, characters. I assume that's Agni just talking about like the history that him and Brilith had. Maybe. I'm not sure. That's um, how I took it. That's why Gandhi trusted him because he's like, this is what I want to protect. In season her. two, when there's a hand on her that makes him come away, I do think that is Kubera. Okay. That's uh, right. Again, this character is a fucking enigma to me. I don't know what he wants or what he's doing or who he actually cares about. <laughs> Yeah, because when I when uh, I was I'll uh, say this with 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 the God of Sorry, I should go ahead. Okay, go on. Oh, okay. Well, 
I think I started to understand him better with that confrontation with Kanara, Vata, Rafa, Nara, and Kanara, Fusion, Hog, Vegito, whatever you want to call her, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Right. Um, there was something I can't. I wish I could remember it verbatim, but there's a line that he says about like like working in 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 the favor or in the for the sake of Anata that I think mm-hmm. kind of made a lot of his prior actions yes. make a lot more sense to me where I think I have a better grip because I'm I'm totally with you. you could, it's well documented in so many videos. I'm like, I cannot get a read on this guy. What does he want from my life? Like, I, I don't know what he wants. Mm-hmm. I cannot get a read on him. And, and I still I, liked him despite that too. <laughs> I kind of did it, but like he can't. But when he's on his detective gimmick, trying to find out, like, okay, you can't say something inside, which means they're gonna blah blah yada yada in the Anata arc. He started to kind of move me, but and then him and him and Ayama, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a goat. So I, I liked his interactions with Lee's. That was the main thing for me with him. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I got you. But I, I, I co-signed the idea because it's like um, when Ananta's speaking to, because when he gets summoned to the kingdom by e, by Enon. Um, Ananta says to, I believe, Maruna, uh, that he, no, he asked, time has stopped, he's talking to Maruna, and then Kubera can also speak in the space, because we know Kubera has some future time abilities for some reason. Don't know why that is. It might be because he, because Ananta said that Kubera is his friend. And that seems to be the only god that that Ananta is friends with. Um... The cool thing so that's about one line interesting. Too, by the way, is like, does he mean Anata Anata, or just the name itself is like you could kind of interpret it a couple of ways. I know? I think yeah, because what he says like, hey Kubera, would it be better if I survived because of such and such? I can't remember the exact dialogue. And Kubera says yes, it'd be better for you to survive. And then Anata says Samura, you know he's lying, right? Um, and that feeds. And when you when you talk about what he says, it's just for the sake of sake of Ananta. My theory for that is what was. Di- uh, initially painted as Kubera killed Ananta for some goal that he had in mind for himself or potentially like the universe. Mm-hmm. I think it's much more likely now when Ananta was losing it to the sins, he asked Kubera to kill him and Kubera did it and he feels guilty about it. And that's why he wants to bring him back because he's yeah. sad boying. And I think that reflects on a lot of his expressions when Cigar is taunting him about it as well. Yes, I agree. But I, I think there was a, how do I explain it? Now, I, the reason I, why he's doing that, because I also think he's doing some long game with Brahma, Kali, and Vishnu too. I'm not sure. Okay. I also think, I because I, I think Lee's is the, I don't, how do you want to say, reincarnation of the, or the new perfect host, I guess, for it all. Like, I, I think uh, this is a whole thing of, like, why she has every name, because, like, with a Nat, a Nata could mainly do, could hold some of the sins. Ralph could hold some of the sins. I think, like, by getting all these names from different races and, like, of, like, the perfect ones that can hold it, she can now be a container. So when she does it, whether or not Anata revives through or, or comes in, he can do what he needs to do in the end game or whatever. I think is. it's I think it's more likely that Ananta... I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ananta just transfers all of his abilities to Lee's and still stays dead. That I would like. Because, I, I mean, I still think he's actually inside of her to some degree. But, uh... Yeah, that, people that, in the chat are probably thinking more likely. People in the chat are also saying apparently, cigar from what she says in three, and by like process of elimination, it could have also been chess. Apparently, that was going, that was that by Brilith, actually. Yeah, that is possible. Um, Wait, are we the finite, bro? Hmm. Are you gonna read the finite? Just, I'm just asking. I'm just curious. Uh, Texaka hasn't moved me enough yet for me to really care. I have one last question. I know. What? <laughs> Let's be done with it because it's late. Okay. Uh, I- I'm looking at the Vishnu comment when Gandhi was talking about getting a lake, right? Mm-hmm. From what it seems like, it was supposed to be Varuna. Y- you said. could take it as Vishnu actually never promised a god would do it. He literally just promised a lake would be formed. And that was Gunhaver's thing. Like <laughs> Gunhaver was supposed to make the lake himself. A lake will get made. I say I'll go so make far, it though. <laughs> so far, that's been Cap. <laughs> well, no, actually, did he? I, I can't remember. Did he actually make the lake? And that's partially why he's weakened now. He did make the lake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So yeah. then he made the lake when the Ataraka clan was attacking. Uh, yeah. So. 
Yeah, because he felt... And it was supposed think. to kill him, but it didn't. Yeah. But, like, literally, Vishnu's talking to him, and he never, Vishnu like, Vishnu actually Vishnu. expressly says, a god, I'm, yeah, I will get this, the god to do it. Here's this is the thing. This is more on Vishnu than it is Genharva, because Genharva thought they were friends. Because that because that's one another thing, too. I don't know how this friendship between Genharva, Vishnu, Shuri, and Garuda works. And we need to get some answers on that, in my opinion, especially given yes. what Genharva's temperament was prior to. Yes. I'm assuming this friendship between the four occurred after he had married Manaka and Shakuntala was born. But um, this is way more on Vishnu being uh, a vague speaking cunt than Genharva not interpreting the message correctly. Because, <laughs> like, when you say a lake's going to be formed in this area where it's toxic, so I have to use my abilities to remove the toxicity. The logical thing to think is that if I do this, I might die. So I'm not going to do that because it's not really a good idea, especially because I have people I care about. He so, does say something about going to talk to other gods, but he never says, I'm going to talk to other gods and ask them to do it for you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's just yeah. like... It's just, it's Vishnu being a dick for no reason to his alleged friend. The ocean, but for some reason, the ocean See, but then I'm flooding. curious if like he, I'm curious if he did this specifically to also... Make Gun, Make Gun Harvard do it so he would be weakened. future, probably. Yeah, because if he didn't weaken himself long enough, he wouldn't have had the human interactions he did with Teo to go through the yeah. character development necessary. Yeah. Because if he came at full power, it would have just been chopped. <laughs> yeah. Consider, but consider this. What Kanarabata was saying made sense. Oh my God. Me. You know what I'm saying? She was like, y'all just talk about the best possible future you're going to prolong it. You're not thinking about how good those years are. So I'm saying, fuck Gun Harbor. Let's just kill him off and not think about, you know what I'm saying, prolonging it as long as this. And let's make it the best universe it can be, even in a short period of time. That's what I'm I saying. I can't wait for when Tao walks down the aisle with him. I'm, that's I swear to God, she'll <laughs> drop the bottom, <laughs> the bottom of the barrel <laughs> so quick. I'm not rocking with that. I'm not, I don't, I don't support. I have. What do they what do they say to weddings? If if I ever, ever 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 hold your peace, I object. Objection. Phoenix right in in the background playing, bro. <laughs> Fucking um overturned playing in the background. I don't I don't want to see that shit. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Turn it off. Wait. This possible future, Playpa. <laughs> Turn it off. Fuck. It really is, bro. You're gonna have to no. Nah, it's, it's okay. Something. I got I got Brillith. It's okay. Wait, nah, you did bring up a good point though, I just wanna say. Real quick. Did you find it weird then, Glam, when Kanara was talking to Kubera and them, and she said, you guys are the ones that told me to get like the name-changing spear or gave it to him? I don't and think they, she's it, speaking specifically about Kubera and Yama, because even Yama says, like, we didn't do that. Was that's why I... She's dead I'm not... I'm not I'm not I'm not coping. I'm just saying if if and what it happens, just 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 no. She trash. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> you know what it reminds me of? I have I, I, don't know if I, I might have told you this before, Glam. There are so many characters I loved in X-Men until they fucking like Scott Summers. I like I fucking hate you now. I hate Bro, Cyclops. We, me, I love I, I would... love Psylocke. Oh, you like Cyclops? Mm -hmm. You're garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you anymore. I don't want to play with you anymore. I drop the toy. I think enough. you and I. I think you and I have talked about this. I, I've said this many times. Uh, Jean Grey is a great character. Whatever she's separated from that toxic group. Exactly. <laughs> I stand by that. Whenever there she's away stuff. from that bitch, <laughs> Scott Summers. Oh my god, it's like uh, night and day. I can't, I can't stand Scott, bro. I can't stand it. <laughs> Um, I'll say, uh, when, yeah, when Emma refers to you gods, it's not like everyone gave the consent. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Kubera or Yama gave consent to Kinar at all. I think she's just generalizing the gods and probably thinking they were some of some hive mind just because Indra signed off. Bastard. Yeah, okay, I would have to go back and look at the word, Rich. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, I know. Uh, Indra, come on, man. Let me team Yama. He needs to be evil. Get some godly Ooh, villains. I don't mind. I don't that. have a problem with them. Yeah, we got the Indra. Which, which also, weirdly, we still haven't seen a Temple of Sky on Malarv yet either. Is that true? I don't, we I, haven't. We never. We never saw the temple. We saw the priest though, but we never saw the temple. Who's the priest? I don't. The priest that. is uh, Mirha's dad. Is it? Yeah, 
He's a he doesn't talk like he he barely talks. He just agrees with whatever he says. Because I think there's a weird thing of like because he transferred from cart in like year nine nine five like five years before the cataclysm, he was super sad because he left his like wife to die supposedly. Yeah, he, he is the priest of the sky. Okay. Yeah. Probably the temple is on Aero Plateau then. It is on Aero Plateau. Yeah, it's Sky and Wind there. But he doesn't do much. So Urha Simon. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we know um, if there's a Temple of Restoration as well? Because I have not seen that either. There, there was supposed to be a, the Temple of Vishnu is uh, in Misty. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be of Asavans now? Well, it well they never got one from Marut or Asavan because remember destruction. It was Shiva and Vishnu and before Vishnu, the yeah. thing. Yeah, Vishnu. They change up for the four sons anyway. I don't. They maybe. Well, they, they haven't done were. it for. They obviously haven't done it for destruction yet. But, yeah, so they never did it. But Vishnu's on. Uh, it was in uh, Misty Shore. Man, Maroon, and Maroon. That's also. Good. But that's Maroon, that's empty now. It's Maroon not even destroyed. They're getting a hoed if that's the case. Yeah, but I mean, there's still fourth zone. So I mean, they got they got the calendar date. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. I guess he is Temple of the Sky. I don't remember ever seeing that for some reason. He he's barely in season two. Like he's. Really, well, no, like, I remember the character. I just don't. Rem I don't remember him being Priest of the Sky. No. Aline is or was the priest right Rand's on? no that's her husband her husband's a water priest elaine has all elaine is all ashvin 